Hi, my lovelies. It's finally here. I am so sorry I've kept you guys waiting. Um, it's been a long season with Olympics happening, my surgery, uh, recovering from it, and just trying to get everything all together. And I'm really sorry this might be bad quality. My camera that I spent two months waiting for broke on me. So I'm just gonna be using my phone today. And I promise this YouTube channel will try to get better uh, with all the high speed, the cool intro. Uh, we have it all figured out, but for now, we're just gonna do a quick makeup tutorial and see how it goes. So I guess let's get right to it. So a lot of you guys liked my smoky eye that I did for my wedding, so I thought let's recreate that. So as always, I go in with my Born This Way concealer, just put a little on my eye just so it stays. Just quickly blend that. And then I'm gonna go with, in with this gorgeous palette, like so. And I'm going to be using this color right here, Desert Sand. I just set it as a base. That way, the concealer sets, and it's a nice setting tone for blending. So now I'm gonna go in with the same palette. I'm gonna go in with the color Amber and just go just along the crease. Now I'm gonna go in with Blood Moon, which is right next to it. It's a little bit of a shimmery tone. I'm just going just a bit under that. I'm more into the red tones and smoky eyes because of my unique color of eyes. Um, it really makes them pop, it makes uh, them out. So I lean more towards the red and smoky eyes when I do my makeup personally. So that's why a lot of you guys have seen that similar look on me, which I don't know, it's just kind of my favorite thing, I guess you can say. So. Now I'm going to go in with the Tarte in Bloom palette and I'm going to go in with this color right here. Then just go in the outer corner. If you also don't have this palette, uh, what I do is I do use a L'Oreal black shade from Shoppers or Walmart. Um, I find those work well really too if you don't have like a dark gray or black, like, I don't know. I'm not your typical makeup guru, I would say. I do love my makeup, but if I'm gonna spend over 50 bucks on a palette 
I have to be head over heels in love with it because I use it all the time for competitions and if I don't love it and I know I'm not gonna use it all the time, then I'm not gonna waste my time. So now I'm gonna take my Sephora Airbrush Shadow Brush and put my Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Mist on it. Just gonna wet in the brush a little there. And we're gonna go back into our Hana Beauty palette. And I'm gonna go in with Crystal. And just, it's a shimmery shade, so I find with shimmery shades, when you damp the brush, it makes them stand out so much more. And now I'm gonna go in with my L'Oreal Paris black eyeliner and just quickly go along the crease. I'm gonna be real for a sec. This is probably not how you see a lot of makeup tutorials done or anything, but this is how I do my makeup. I'm not a makeup guru. I am a figure skater. And yeah, my main thing is not really knowing how to do makeup like superbly. I just kind of have learned over the years what to do and what not to do. But there is some times where I want to go up and like just fix my makeup or anything. Now, as I said before, these are not all high-end products. This is my Super Curler Volume Mascara from Walmart. Like, most of my stuff is. All my brushes, my e.l.f. brushes that I use all the time. Walmart. So there's the quick eye look. It's kind of simple, kind of easy, but now we shall go right into the face. So this is just quick primer. I like the photo finish primer from Smashbox, but you can kind of just get anywhere. I don't know. I find a lot of things like stuff you find in Sephora you could find at Shoppers Drug Mart or anywhere like like I said not a typical <laughs> makeup tutorial I d I rather spend five dollars at Shoppers or Walmart on a good beauty blender than getting the exact same thing at Sephora for thirty dollars so that's just my way of living if I can get it for cheap and the exact same thing and I know it's good quality, I'm gonna get it. So now I'm gonna take my lovely Born This Way concealer and just basically conceal whatever I need. Personally, if I could, I'd probably conceal my whole face, but that's a little ridiculous for me. Blend, blend. You guys think me being in front of camera, I'd be better at talking to a stationary object, but I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of nervous doing this. Okay. <laughs> So this might not match me perfectly because as you can see, I'm already starting to get a bit tanned. I tan really easily. So yeah, my foundation really isn't matching me right now. So I'm gonna have to go buy some more. Uh, this is, I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, 
that's the foundation I use in 200 so pro filter full coverage well full coverage considering my face is always on TV and yeah not the biggest fan of like showing like sweat marks or anything especially when the camera gets nice up and close to your face it's like oof honey I better have blended that out well So now I'm gonna go in with my Laura Mercier translucent powder with my beauty blender and just set it all in. Oh honey, I'm gonna look like a ghost compared to the rest of my body right now. Oh, gaps. I have got to start getting on top of things. So one thing you guys will notice when you watch this, or if you do watch it, is, um, yeah, you're gonna, I guess, see the real me and not really serious, like, a lot of the time. Anyways, my Anastasia contour kit and light to medium. Lord, be on my side that it's gonna look a little decent. Okay, okay. I like kind of do the three but I start with like the lower half of the three first and then I make my way up I don't know I always have done that I know people start with their forehead but I always start with my cheek now I'm gonna go in with my little elf brush just quickly go along the nose just contour this baby and I always do the bottom of my lip just to make it pop a little more because being on TV so much like I don't want to I don't I want it to look like I have lips long story short now I'm just gonna go with the layer shades go on my T a little and underneath the eyes just hide those bags hide those tired tired little bags of mine I want to see them. And let me just tell you, I love using full coverage makeup because, honey, TV, especially if people have HD TV, shows everything. I have an HD TV at home, and sometimes I'll go home and I'm like, oh my god, my makeup, especially after a long program, whoo, I be glowing from that sweat, and it's, eh, no. I gotta fix that so been working on although I can't really help it because I have to do my job but at the same time I like to look nice doing it so this is from shoppers I've used it a lot um, 
I go in with the dark brown. And as you see, I don't really need to fill up my eyebrows because they're already like naturally filled. So kind of just like touch them up a tiny bit, like filled, not filled. Don't really do much to my eyebrows, to be honest. Um, so yeah, just fill them up with like a brownish, just to like extra, but that's about it pretty straightforward now we go back in with our tart palette go back in the same grayish color and just go along the crease And I'm gonna go back in with my Hana Beauty palette. Go back to the same goldish pink and just slightly go in the corner of my eye. Yeah, that's a about it. <laughs> go in with this black eyeliner again, just to really like make that smokiness. And we're going to go back with our same mascara. I like going on the top one more time just to show y'all that I have eyelashes. And then I just quickly go on the bottom. I try not to put too much on the bottom because you guys know in the kiss and cry, there could be a lot of kisses and there could be a lot of crying. I have done many of both, so just the way it goes. This is my gorgeous new Anastasia Glow Kit. Oh, love it. I go in with Starburst and I just quickly go just over here and on the other side, right my nose, but on the brow and upper lip. And then I go in with the color marshmallow, which is like the white, white one. And I just like tap, like jelly, jelly tap over it. Cause honey, I like to like glow. Y'all know me and my skin and my costumes. I glow, like, like sparkles. I'm going in with my gorgeous Kylie Cosmetics lip kit in the shade Malibu. Guys, this is all I wear, like lipstick wise. All I wear is Kylie. All the time. So, this is the final makeup look. I am so sorry that I have a really crappy background and it's a little long, but as I said, my camera broke, but I really wanted to get this YouTube channel started for you guys because you've asked so, so much about it. And I thank you guys for all the love and support. I would not be here today without you guys, so uh, I will try to get better at this YouTube thing, but for right now, here's the starter. So I really hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. Hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, loves.